Hey, what's up, Wonders? Me, it's your boy Fall. I'm Nick fan here. Welcome back to the game group. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to make the MCP pulse shortener. Yes, so pulse, basically pulse shortener to work be good use for to build. And before we get started building, I want to give you a little in fact info on pulse shorteners. They're what you use for to extract light. So basically, this is what you see in the picture down below. So you want to make a pulse shortener? Here's what you need. So you'll need the material fall materials you need. So please make sure you basically follow up the page and pause the video if you need to. You'll need redstone dust. You'll need one redstone lamp. Then you'll need two redstone torches. So you'll need redstone torch. Then you'll need a button. Any specific button. For this one, I'll just use a stone button. Then you will need... And then you'll need a block of your choice. This person used, I uh, think, a polish on the site. So I'll be using polish and the site as well. Or use polish diorite. Any kind of polish block of your choice. I'll just use polish and the site. Alright, so here's what this says. So the first step you build is this block right here. Use your block to make it a shape of like this picture. So let me show you guys how to build this picture. So if you look closely at the picture, you can see he built it. So but I'm going to teach you stuff how to build it. So you'll create. One, two, three. You'll create three blocks right there. Then add a block there. And then extract it by two blocks here, which is the base of the pulse shortener. Next, the components. You want to make your redstone circling by placing a redstone torch right here. Wait one sec. Sorry. Place redstone. Sorry, so anyways, create your redstone torch and add your redstone lamp. And like in the last video, we basically add a redstone lamp for the ones we make. And then like that. Kind of like the ones we did for the over he over there, where we added like underneath the Millennium Falcon. Where we just discovered what we could use for redstone lamp. See? So that's what we used for. Now next thing we're going to use for is more block. So if we look closely. We're gonna add more blocks to the build. So if you look closely. Sorry about the video had to cut out. Sorry. So we're gonna add three more blocks right there to the build. So no, I did. Send that there. Sorry. So you want to place your block right there, and then you want to place more blocks right there. And underneath that block you just made. Sorry about the thing. He, he, dug a, he dug a hole. So you want to dig a hole underneath there by that block we just made. Like that. Alright. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, the next step. Let me go back to my build. Next is the dust. Add more dust to the build. So come over here and add more dust. Add dust on the sides here. Like that. Just shown in the picture below. Now add more blocks. Add one more block on top of the redstone torch. Let's hear how to do that. I'm gonna crouch. And then hang on a second. Like that. I used to say diagonal. And then another torch on the other side. And then that torch goes out. So we have a place the torch right there. That torch goes out because of the redstone circling. Next, we're gonna go ahead to is the button. The button's gonna go where that torch is. That torch is where we did. Place, place it right there, as shown. And then that's what your pulse shortener is. So go ahead and we'll test it out. See? The pulse shortener. The pulse shortener basically does is it just extracts light, so. Like that. So 
You see that? That's how the pulse runner goes. And look at the light. And look, look at the rest of the torch. That rest of the torch comes on and goes off. So yeah, build a pulse shortener, and that hole is for basically to extract it. And that's how you make the pulse shortener. Thank you, Warner, for watching the video. Like I said, this will be posted to posted tomorrow at 1:30 p.m. Don't waste the time for safety. Like a bell cut.